imagine how that sounds to the Father when we say, all I want is you. All I want is you. We live in a nation that seems to want to turn its back on God, but there's a people who are crying out and saying, all I want I'm not after the blessings, I'm not after the things, I'm after the presence of God. All I want When you get God, you get everything else that you need. All I want is you, Lord. You can seek after things but miss God, but if you seek after God, the things will come. All I want. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm desperate for you, oh Lord. I can't live one day without your presence. Father, we bless you this blessed morning. We give you all of the glory. We give you all of the honor. We acknowledge that you are the ever living Father of all grace and mercy, that you are the omnipotent God who knows no failure and your promises are established and ready to be fulfilled. Thank you for this and thank you, Father, for all of your people this morning across Rustenburg, across the country, the continent, and the world. And thank you, Father, that in the midst of turbulence, in the midst of fear, and in the midst of so much adversity, you are still the faithful God. We can call upon your name knowing that you are faithful and good and gracious enough, mighty God, to see your people out of the season of this pandemic. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we also are trusting you and praying that, Father, you will give our scientists across the world, mighty God, the grace, the ability, the wisdom, heavenly Father, uh, to come with the necessary medication to help all of our people across the world. We thank you. We give you all of the glory. We dedicate this moment, Heavenly Father, right now to the knowledge of God, to the revelation of your word, and to the mighty working of the Holy Spirit in our lives, in our families, in our countries. For we ask and we pray and we give you all of the glory in the blessed name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Well, greetings to all the people of God across the cyberspace. And we want to acknowledge and appreciate the Excellence Family members. We appreciate our partners, our friends. And um, we greet you all this morning in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a great pleasure for me to be here. Uh, I am in actual fact on a sabbatical break, um, but due to the request of our partners and friends and family, I am here just to come and share what I believe is a prophetic word from the Lord for his people across the world. But before I, I, I get to speak on preparing a way for the Lord, uh, let me just um, make this announcement. Last week, the president did an announcement uh, for the nation of South Africa that uh, the nation will be going down to level three of um, lockdown concerning the COVID-19 pandemic. And that allowed churches in this country to open up, of course, with some certain restrictions. But um, um, due to the, both the restrictions and the rising numbers, the increasing numbers of um, coronavirus infections in Rustenburg and throughout the country. 
and the fact that we still don't have the medical um, breakthrough with a vaccine or medication. The, the Board of Excellence Christian Center Rustenbeck has made a resolution to delay the reopening of Excellence Christian Center here in Rustenburg for about a month to the end of June. And then this will be reviewed to see what conditions and things will be looking like by the end of the month uh, to see if we can uh, open sometime sooner after the review before the end of the month of June. Therefore, um, we encourage our Christians everywhere, our partners and friends, to continue to pray, to continue to fellowship, and to use this time uh, profitably. Uh, profitably, I'm referring to the fact that um, we can be prayerful. We should continue to be prayerful. We should continue to study the will of the Lord. We should continue to draw ourselves as close to the manifestation of his presence as we can because this is extremely important at a time such as this one i am fully persuaded that by the time we reach the end of the lockdown levels level one and completely out of lockdown this country and this world will never be the same again i am fully persuaded that we have entered a new era of complete change, complete transformation, and complete renewal of everything. Therefore, the most important thing is to prepare ourselves for this new season. It's going to be a completely different world altogether. And we're praying for those who, because of level three of COVID-19 lockdown and, and restrictions, some of them have gone, some of you have gone back to work. We pray that the Lord will keep you safe and sound. And that um, even in these challenging economic times, God will make a way for you miraculously so that you will find sustenance for yourselves and for your families. Okay, I am going to read this morning from the book of Isaiah chapter 40 and I'm reading verse 3, 4 and 5 and then I'm going to go down um, to the end of the chapter. But um, this morning I want to speak very briefly on what I believe the Lord has laid in my heart for, for his people across the world. Verse 3 says, The voice of him that cries in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places shall be made plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Now, most of you will be aware that verse 3 uh, was later in the New Testament, quoted by John the Baptist concerning his calling and his ministry. He said he was called just to come and prepare a way of the Lord. He was just a voice that was just pronouncing that the Lord Jesus was going to be coming soon. And he was there just to prepare to open a way in the hearts and the lives of people for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And um, I believe God. God is calling us in the same way today. He is calling us to prepare a way for the Lord. In other words, God is about to show up. God is about to do something unique. God is about to do something new. God is about to give us a new beginning as a people, as his people called Christians, as people across the globe. God is ready to give the world another chance to experience his glory. But here are a few requirements as we prepare uh, the way of the Lord to show up in our lives, in our families, in our churches, in our countries, and in our world. He says he himself is going to do a number of things. Number one, he's going to make sure that he's, he's leveling the playing fields. He's going to level the ground. The mountains will come down and valleys will rise up. They will meet somewhere in the middle and prepare a plain, prepare a smooth level place so that he is giving everybody a chance to start all over again. Uh, he's giving us a chance to 
to make adjustments in our lives, adjustments in the way we do what we do with our lives, and adjustments in the way we do church, and adjustments in the way we do outreach programs to reach our generation of people with the message of the saving grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the mighty working of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, as he is leveling the playing fields, as he is giving everybody a fresh start, the most important thing is that we, will, we have to realize that the reason why he is doing that is because he is about to reveal another wave or another layer of his glory. And the Bible here says in verse 5 that all flesh, all people in our world will see and experience one way or the other this glory of the Lord. There's, um, there's going to be, God is about to do something that cannot be hidden. He's not going to do it in a corner. He's not going to do it in obscurity for a few people. This is for all of mankind in our world today. The glory of the Lord is going to be revealed in the world. And then when we speak about the glory of God, of course, we, we are referring to the very essence of what makes God to be who he is. God is God because of this essential element about him that we call the glory. The glory is what makes God to, it is who God really is. So God is going to show up and by the way God is unlimited God is awesome God is almighty and because of that we are going to see that even in the midst of a pandemic like we, the world is going through right now there is nothing impossible for God to do there is nothing that can hinder God from showing up we we can be sure that God is going to be revealing himself in ways some of those ways are what has already happened and been seen and experienced by people sometime in the past. But for most of us alive in the world today, God is going to reveal himself in ways that most of us have never experienced him in this way before. Number one, he is going to make sure that his message, the clarity of his words to his people is going to show forth, is going to shine forth. In other words, there's going to be a very clear and loud message about the will of God for his people across the globe in every nation, every country, every island of the seas. God is going to make himself very clear. There may have been a confusion in the past, maybe until now, for most people, who really God is and which one is actually the voice of God. And here is what God is going to do. He is going to silence that which is not his voice and only allow his voice to ring loud and clear. His will will be made known. His will will be made understandable to people across the globe. Secondly, he is going to intervene in ways, some of which can only be um, read from the scriptures. In other words, the God of the Bible is the God of this season. The God of the Bible is the God of this moment and of this time. He is is going to make sure that what he has said will be fulfilled. I am not going to um, make a proclamation about the, the return of the Lord Jesus Christ at this moment in terms of his second coming, but I do know that we are getting closer and closer and much closer to that moment. And um, in this final hour, the, the last of the last days, God is going to make sure that his word and his will will be clearly known and clearly be understood by all people across the globe and we shall know who the real and true God is and what is that which has been made to be fake to confuse the people of the living God. All flesh shall see the glory of the Lord because the mouth of God himself has already spoken about it. This is not just for a particular person. This is not just for a particular church or particular ministry or denomination. This the revelation of the glory of God in our time is for all of humanity across the world. Let me just read further down in the chapter the 40th chapter of Isaiah and I want to start reading from verse 28 it says has thou not known has thou not heard that the everlasting God the Lord the creator of the ends of the earth does not faint 
neither is he weary or tired, and there is no searching of his understanding. He gives power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases their strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Here is a message that again I want to say as clearly and as simply as I can manage to do this morning. There is a God who is the creator of the earth, the creator of the ends of the earth, in other words, the creator of the universe. This God does not faint and he never gets tired. And he is so great, so deep in who he is and what he is, that there is no end to his understanding of everything. So in other words, you may sometimes feel like nobody understands your situation. You may feel like people don't really know what you are going through. But let me give you this assurance as an individual, as a family, as a community, as nations of the world, God does understand what we are going through. He knows everything about everything else. He understands to the very minutest details about what is happening in your life, your family, your community, and your nation. Why? Because he created everything and he knows the future just like he knows the past. And therefore, this great almighty God who created the universe with the word of his mouth is here to help us. I am fully persuaded that God is going to show up and divinely intervene in the affairs of mankind, in the affairs of countries and nations and the world today in the midst of COVID-19. God is going to show himself great and glorious in the way he's going to save and protect his people. The Bible says he gives power to the faint. He's going to strengthen us. He's going to encourage us. He's going to increase your strength. He's going to make sure that you rise above all forms of adversity. He's going to make sure that you rise above all the challenges of your life because he understands exactly what you are going through, what you are dealing with. All forms of adversity, he knows and he understands and he's got the power to do something about it. He's not just going to watch and hope something happens, he's going to be involved, he's going to intervene, he's going to change your circumstances. In actual fact, allow me to proclaim this word right now that I believe the Holy Spirit just, just dropped in my spirit for you, that there are miracles that are going to happen without um, somebody trying to intervene or to show themselves in any other way other than that, the Lord is going to intervene in your situation. And that which looks impossible right now, that which looks like has defeated you or is about to take your life, God right now is intervening to change that situation for you. Be it a health situation, be it an, an, an economic financial situation, be it any other thing or work related, God is going to resurrect and revitalize your situation. And in a few days, it's going to be like it never happened. It's going gonna, it's gonna to look like it was just a dream because when God intervenes, he does not make things better in, in terms of improving your health. He brings your health completely back 100%. And that's, that's exactly what the Lord is doing for somebody right here, right now. And I pray that not only you, but your loved ones will experience the goodness of God in the land of the living. The Bible says, in these days and in this time, in this season, in the world post COVID-19, even the young people will faint and be weary, and the young men shall, shall fall. In other words, without God, we cannot make it. Therefore, we need to make a choice not to depend on our, just our abilities and our strengths, but we have to acknowledge God in everything we do. In other words, it is not about you stopping to dream. It's not about you stopping to plan. It is not about 
you not doing something towards your desires and the goals you have set for yourself. Do that, but depend on the grace and the strength of the Lord. Depend on his wisdom, depend on his understanding, depend on his ability to empower you and give you strength. Don't do try to do it on your own, because if you are alone and God is not invited in your life, whatever you do will not succeed therefore god is saying wait upon me so that i can renew your strength i can give you power and i can increase your strength but here is what is interesting as i close the bible says they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint what I like about this verse is that waiting upon the Lord is not like waiting for a bus at a bus station or a train at a train station. When this, what this verse is saying to us that uh, for the Lord to renew our strength as we wait for him, there are certain things we need to be doing. We have to be busy waiting for the Lord, not just waiting, doing nothing. It says we shall walk, we wait for God walking, we wait for God running, we wait for God flying like eagles. In other words, if you have faith in God, if you are trusting God for it to intervene in your life, in your family, in your situation, be actively be doing something. And faith is not what you believe. Faith is acting on what you believe. Therefore, faith is about action. So as you wait upon the Lord, be busy doing something. Be busy walking. Be busy running. Be busy flying towards your goals, towards your desires, towards, towards what you are believing and trusting God to intervene or in your life about. So when you are busy acting, the Lord will make sure that you do not run out of steam. He will make sure that you do not run out out of strength he will increase your strength he will renew your strength he will make sure that you will go all the way towards uh, uh, attaining to your goals making your dreams become a reality but please as you wait upon the Lord wait for him doing something do not just wait and do nothing go and knock on doors go send your CVs do something because the goodness of the Lord will be revealed in your life as he changes your circumstances I pray this morning that you will experience the fact and the reality that God loves you. God cares about your well-being. Therefore, as you prepare a way for him, as you prepare yourself for greater things, as you, you do certain things towards your dreams and your goals, acknowledging him in all of your ways, know that God is coming through for you. His glory is being revealed. His goodness is going to be made known into your life, and his love for you is going to be manifested. And as I close, let me say this. He loves you as if you were his only child. He cares for your well-being much more than we can ever imagine. And right now as I speak, he is closer to you than anything closest to your being. Right now, because he's here to change the situation of your life by the manifestation of his glory. Allow me to pray with you right now as I ask you to join me in faith and prayer. Holy Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Christ. We are aware that times have changed, the seasons are not the same as they used to be. We are very much aware that our world can never go back to what it used to be before COVID-19 showed up in this world. And right now, Heavenly Father, our confidence and our trust is in you. I pray for every person, mighty God, watching this live streaming service and those who will watch it later. I pray, Father, that you will intervene. You know everyone by name. You know the number of hairs on their heads. You know, Heavenly Father, the details of everything and the challenges that they are going through right now. I pray that you will renew their strength. You will empower them. You will, Heavenly Father, lift them up and intervene to change their situations. Right now, Father, I pray for the healing of all those that are sick and I command them to, to be healed, to rise up and be healed 
and glorify God for his divine intervention right now in the authority of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm asking, Father, that for those that are crying out of misery, out of broken hearts, out of the loss of loved ones, everything there, Father, I pray that the peace of God will prevail on their behalf. And Father, give them a brand new beginning and a new hope for the future because you are there for everyone who calls upon your name. I also pray, Heavenly Father, right now that those who are adversely affected by economic situations, I'm asking, Lord, that you will intervene, that you will make a way where there seems to be no way, that you'll open a door that seems like it is locked forever, that, Heavenly Father, you will answer the, the Christ, the desires, and the prayers of your people in this regard. We give you all the praise and the glory, and I pray, Father, that we as the church and all of your people across the world will be ready for the manifestation of your glory. Give everyone in every context, mighty God, the ability to be ready and to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit, that we shall be a people ready to walk with God, experience the glory of God as the glory of God is being revealed across the world for all of humanity. We thank you and we bless you, dear Master, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. And as I close, um, before we just um, switch off this um, live streaming, I want to say to all of our partners, thank you so much for your prayers, for your feedback, and for your financial support uh, towards this ministry. It is and will always be appreciated, and I trust that the Lord will increase you and bless you, even in times of famine. God bless you. Amen.